Amen. Thank you. All right. Um, uh, since last couple of weeks, we are uh, learn about, we are study, study and learn about um, the important people in the Bible. We discussed uh, about Joseph's life, and last week we talked about Jacob's life. Also, Jacob and his uh, twin brother Esau's stories. And today, you are going to a story, uh, we are talking about the story about two sisters, uh, Leah and Rachel. Leah and Rachel is also um, the wives of Jacob. We talked about so many things uh, last week about Jacob and his family, very dysfunctional families. And then um, today, we are going to mainly talk about his uh, first wife, Leah, and also a little bit talk about second wife, Rachel. And this is, we just read, the, the, the scripture we just read is the, uh, how uh, Jacob finally met these two sisters. If you still remember, last week I talked about, a little bit talk about how, why Jacob ran away from his home because he stole the blessing, his father's blessing, Isaac's uh, blessing from his older brother, twin brother Esau. Esau was supposed to receive the father's blessing. Uh, somehow Jacob's mother and the Jacob kind of a conspiracy, they, they stole the, the father's blessing. Actually, they was going exposed to go to the uh, 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 Esau. So Jacob ran away. So actually, Rebecca, the mother, told him, "You better go to the uh, your uncle's house, Laban." So his uncle, so uh, Rebecca's brother. So he ran away. He finally reached the Laban's house. That's the uh, today's scripture. And this is kind of a family tree for these whole families. If you already read the Genesis, ch from chapter two, I'm um, chapter twelve. We are uh, learn about the Abraham's stories. So the grandfather of Jacob is Abraham. Abraham's story is starting uh, chapter twelve. I I will talk about Abraham's life maybe next week. Um, he just studied Isaac, and his wife is um, uh, Rebecca. Abraham has a uh, Actually, Sarah is his wife, but like Rachel or other women, he could she could have a baby. So Abraham slept with actually um, had a baby with uh, his uh, 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 third baby. So he has two sons, Ishmael and Isaac. As you may already know, uh, Ishmael is the uh, father of all Islam countries. Okay. So Isaac has two sons, Jacob and Esau. Jacob and Esau. Esau was the first son, but Jacob kind of stole his birthright. So Jacob inherited all things from the Isaac. And then Jacob has actually four wives. And he has 12 sons and one daughter. So this is all his sons. And as you know, uh, Jacob, uh, Joseph, must, Joseph is here. We already talked about the Joseph story two years ago. This is uh, their family tree. So now Jacob's family, his own family. And we'll talk about later about the, how he married to Leah and Rachel. We'll talk about, we'll see this uh, picture later. It looks like a Muslim, not a Jew. Uh, they are Jewish, okay. They are actually from the same, you know, always. So Jacob finally meets Rachel. So we just read it, this scripture, right? So when Jacob saw Rachel, he was so pleased, and then he finally reached the, uh, his uncle's house, Raven's house, and then um, and then uh, they are relatives. So um, like um, Jacob said, "I'm going to work for you, uncle." And then the uncle Raven said, "All right, if, even though we are family members." I'm going to pay you for your work. So 
Blame and ask, how, how do I pay? What? No, no, I have a question. Okay. Isn't it, aren't they cut? Isn't it Jacob and Leah and uh, Rachel are cousins? Yes, kind of cousins, yes. And, right, so, so Raven said, I will pay you. So, what, what do I pay? How do I pay? And then Jacob said, Jacob really liked Rachel. So, keep your daughter as my wife. I'm going to, I want to marry with your daughter, Rachel. So, Raymond said, okay, if you work for the next seven years, my daughter Rachel is yours. So, so um, Jacob really worked hard. And then, at this point, in the Jewish families, the older sister must marry first. So, for the next seven years, if Leah cannot find her husband, she got trapped. Because the younger, younger sister, Rachel, has a fiancé. She will marry to the Jacob in, that, uh, in, in seven years. So, in the Bible, it said, you know, we, we can guess why, why Jacob chose Rachel over Leah. In the chapter 29, 17, we can find this verse. Leah had weak eyes, but Rachel was lovely in form and beautiful. Meaning that Rachel is prettier than Leah. <laughs> I think that's why Jacob chose Rachel over um, of, um, Leah. If you, I believe, this sentence, Leah had weak eyes, and when Rachel was lovely, informed, and beautiful, is grammatically wrong. This is not the right sentence. If you think of parallel sentence or comparison, in this sense, they are compared to this woman, Leah and, and Rachel. If you compare something, you must be compared with the same stuff. Hence, I will look, whatever it is. Here, Leah had weak eyes, okay? And then the, the also right of the Bible must be compared to Rachel's eye. So this must this sentence must be like this. Leah had weak eyes. But Rachel had strong eyes. This is the right sentence. Or Leah was not lovely in form, but Rachel was so attractive. That's the right sentence. But somehow people believe that it's a Genesis is written by Moses. Okay, Moses is writing Genesis. He's writing Genesis, right? Chapter 29. Like he finally is writing about Leah and Rachel. He knew that Leah and Rachel were pretty, prettier than Leah. But, you know, and then he, he might say, oh, Holy Spirit, work with him. You know, this is a great woman. You cannot say Leah look ugly. So they change, kind of changed the, the word, like, uh, okay, Leah had weak eyes. That's a better expression. Or some uh, biblical scholars said, in that time, in Jewish society, the weak eyes means not pretty. I don't know. So anyway, the point is, in my theory, <laughs> Jacob chose Rachel because she is prettier than Leah. Okay, there is a this survey in Korea, I mean, in this country, United States. There's a survey about the mate, your future husband or your, your future wife. What is your preference? Who is your favorite for your boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband? So survey asked the eyes of women. Women in the 20s. Who is your favorite guy? They said, handsome guy or strong guy. They, they prefer guy who has a better look. Same question to the uh, women in 30s. Who is your favorite? So they said, the guy who is rich or financially stable or better job. So they are pre their preference like they are changed in 30s. In the 40s, women in the, women in the 40s as to Who's your favorite? What's your preference for your husband or your boyfriend? 
they said the four instruments, right? So they said, all right, just the guys who had who had still their own hair. That's their woman. Same question to the guys, boys or, or men. In twenties, who's your preference? Your who's your uh, favorite girlfriend or your wife? Who's your wife? In twenties, guy said, pretty woman. Pretty woman. We like we are pretty for pretty woman. Same question to thirties guys in thirties. Same question. What's your preference? Same as pretty woman. And guys in forties. Who's your preference? Who's your favorite, your future wife or girlfriend? Same as pretty woman. See, guys, always, not always, most of the guys prefer the pretty woman. They are very like the woman who is pretty. And, you know, that's why I believe Jacob select and choose Rachel. So Rachel was so pretty, but we are it or not. So, because Laban promised Jacob, you will have Rachel if you work for the next seven years. So Jacob worked so hard for the next seven years. So finally, it's the wedding day. So there's a big ceremony. For Jewish people, like a wedding ceremony like, uh, takes like one week. It's one week ceremony, one week wedding ceremony. So after the first day, when Jacob, you know, entered his room. He, he was uh, expecting that Rachel was waiting for him. So they, he just he slept here. And the next day, he found out it was not Rachel. Meaning that Laban's uncle broke his promise. He he sent the first daughter, Leah, to uh, Jacob's room. And then next day, Jacob was so shocked. So he said, what is this you have done to me? I served you for Rachel, didn't I? Why have you deceived me? They replied, it is not our custom here to give the younger daughter in marriage before the old one. Laban is Another deceiver, like Jacob. You know Jacob's story. We, we know about Jacob's last week. Yeah. He's a deceiver. Now he has the same problem with the, uh, his own uncle. His own uncle deceived him. So Jacob was so angry, you know, it's not going to work. And then Laban suggested, all right, I'll give you my second daughter too. It's one condition. You are going to work another seven years for me. So Jacob said, "Okay, if you you give you give the, uh, your second door, I work for the another seven years." So Raymond promised that. Okay, after he said the daughter's bridal week means it's a one week. It's over, and I give it to my younger daughter to you. But you will work for another for me another for another seven years. But Jacob was so willing to do that. So he work another seven years. The total 14 years he worked for the, uh, his own uncle to get the range. At this point, just think about the uh, Leah's position. How, what do you think? What, 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 what she, she was feeling about this, all, all, all the problems? Okay, first seven years, Jacob said, I want, I, I, I want to marry to Rachel, your younger sister, because she was prettier than you. And then, then um, next seven years, in the first seven years period, Leah always thought I had to get married before my, my younger sister uh, can marry to Jacob because their custom. The older sister must be get married before the second I mean, younger, younger, younger sister. Don't you think this seven year for this seven years period, Rachel, I mean Leah, tried to get he her future husband or boyfriend? I believe 
she tried so hard to get rid of the husband. However, she could not get one. And then the, the father told her, okay, Ria, you, you could not find your uh, own husband. So I give you Jacob. I'm going to deceive Jacob. So go to the Jacob's room at the wedding day, and then you will be his, 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 his wife. Do you believe Ria like this idea? No. No? I know. How about her feeling about this one? He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it, she doesn't like it. And I think she was so humiliated by this, this, this incident. Think about it. I mean, in, in her town, many people said, Oh, Rachel, you are so pretty. Whatever to your, to your own sister. You are way prettier than your sister. She was so humiliated. And she could not find her own girlfriend, I mean boyfriend, or, or future husband. She has to lie to get married. Not only this seven years, and how would another seven years? Think about it. Now they are live together in the same house. Jacob, Leah, and Rachel. Although Rachel, I mean Leah, went to the Jacob, what do you think? Jacob really want to sleep with uh, uh, Leah? I don't think so. So these tourists, 14 years, life of Leah was no good. So humiliating, shame. He lived with the husband who doesn't like her. And this so-called husband always sleep with her sister in the same house. Think about it. That doesn't make sense. So that's Leah's life. And then God somehow heard this story. So God said, I love Leah, Jacob, Rachel, and everybody. I don't like what my daughter was humiliated. I am going to bless Leah. So what happened? Although they lived together, somehow Rachel could not get pregnant. She was a parent. So God blessed Leah and Leah had somehow he she was able to have a baby with a Jacob. So when the Lord saw that Leah was not loved, he opened her womb, but Rachel was bad, meaning that she could not get pregnant. So Leah now have four sons with Leah Jacob. His name Reuben, Simeon, Levi, and Judah. And their, their name is so interesting. You know, because Leah at this point has uh, so painful, so he named her son like this. Reuben means that it is because the Lord has seen my misery, surely my husband will love me now. That's the meaning of the Reuben. The second Simeon's name, because the Lord heard that I am not loved. He gave me this one. How about Levi? The meaning is that now at last my husband will become attached to me because I have born him three sons. So until he she had uh, uh, three sons, he she believed that her life still was so miserable. And finally he had Judah. He he finally she named in a good way. The, the Judah means that this time I will praise the Lord. When she had the yes, fourth son, she finally thankful to God. So now we have another, another problem. How the Rachel's 
feeling. She was so painful. When Rachel saw that she was not fearing Jacob's any children, she became jealous of her sister. So she said to Jacob, give me your children or I'll die. That's the Rachel. That's Rachel's personality. She has no patience. She has no patience. She want, now she wants a baby. But the, the Jacob's reply, Am I in the place of God who has kept from kept you from having children? I cannot do it. That's uh, the God's job. That's, that's Jacob's response. Then Rachel has another idea. Alright, I give you my servant, male servant. Sleep with her and have a baby. That will be my family. So now, now Jacob has third wife. So Jacob had, I mean, Jacob had baby with uh, Bilam, the, the servant of uh, uh, Rachel. So this is um, their, Jacob's family. So Uriah, first, I mean, older sister. This is a lesser with Chirpa and Rachel and Bilam. The, those, these are uh, uh, four women, um, Jacob's wives. So Leah had one, two, three, four, five, six, six sons. And Leah's servant has two sons. Rachel, later, she finally got pregnant. And she has Joseph and Benjamin. Joseph is the, uh, the, the son of Rachel. And then Bilah, the servant of Rachel, also had two sons. Those 12 sons is origin of Jewish 12 tribes. They are main tribes for the, Yati, for the Jewish people. So now this is Jacob's old family. We, talk, we already learned about Joseph's life. Joseph has seen he got a different dress. You remember that? Jacob was uh, the favorite son of the, uh, uh, Jacob. Because Jacob so loved Rachel, Rachel could have a baby for a long time. So finally, Rachel had a baby, Joseph. He's, Jacob so loved his son Jacob. That's why the other sons so jealousy uh, on the, uh, of Jacob, I mean Joseph. So now everyone has babies, children. But Leah, was so different from Rachel. Leah knows how to wait and patience. Wait until God answered her prayer. Leah so wanted the Jacob love her and to care of her and want to have a baby with uh, Jacob. If you um in the Bible, that Leah was not really a popular girl, but Rachel was so popular. Rachel was so pretty, but Leah was not. So, in people's view, Rachel must have better life. However, God has a different idea. As you saw already, Leah had Leah's first son is Judah, right? Judah is later the Jesus, our Savior, is actually um um Rachel. Leah is a great grand 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 grandmother of Jesus Christ, not Rachel. Jacob's son, first son Judah is. Judah's life, Jesus was born. So meaning that Rhea was great, 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 great mother of grandmother of the Jesus Christ, not Rachel. What a great blessing. Many people said in her town, Rachel was prettier, Rachel would have a better life. Rachel was so popular, people love guys love her. But Leah's life, she was pretty, 
she was popular. However, she knew what God thought. What God had, she knows that, she knew that God had planned for. Great plan. Great plan. We couldn't see it. And, and somehow, Leah has the ability to wait. Be patient. As you saw, Rachel doesn't be patient. But Leah knows how to wait until God answers her prayer, until God bless her. She had no idea the Savior, our Savior, Jesus Christ, was born around her family life. But later, about 4,000 years later, Jesus Christ, our Savior, is born. And we are strong, not Rachel's life. Uh, this is in, if you uh, go back to the uh, Gospel of Matthew, in chapter uh, 1, that verse 1 2, this is all about the uh, uh, record of the generality of Jesus Christ. See, Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham was the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. That's um, Judah was the is the other uh, real son. Okay, this is the whole family line of the uh, you just talked about. It. So Jacob, four wives, Leah and his sister. Judah, fourth son, King David. We'll talk about King David, maybe two weeks later. And King David, King Solomon, kings of Judas, finally, Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ is coming from here, the last line, not Rachel's line. Rachel's is, yeah, he, got, he also had a great son, Joseph. Joseph's a great son. Joseph's line, you will see the uh, Joshua, the next, I mean, the reader of the uh, Moses. So this is uh, Joseph and Rachel's line. Joseph, Ephraim, and this line, we will see the uh, Joshua, the great leader of the uh, Jewish people. So we will see, I will talk about um, King David, and King Saul, maybe next week. And we'll talk about Joshua. We'll talk about um, Abraham. So Abraham's over here. And we'll also talk about some other people in the Bible. So, their story, um, you know, many, especially this one, especially this time, Especially younger people, they are so, you know, concerned about the outlook. Pretty, pretty woman, handsome guy. But as you see already, the God does not really, I mean, was not really interested in the outlook. He always see our heart. What is in your heart? Spiritually. God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, is in, inside you. King David had made so many mistakes, but God really loves King David. Jacob had so many mistakes. He's deceiver, like his name, but God really loves him. We'll talk about later King Saul's different story. Moses, he murdered his own people. But God raised him as a leader of the whole Jewish people. Because God always sees inside of you, in your heart. In your heart. You are really follow his true world. Holy Bible. Are you really, really lost? Oh God. Can you feel it? Or can you recognize that? He is inside you. 
I will talk about born again Christian. What is born again Christian? Born again Christian is Canadian chapter 2 and 12. The Paul said, I crucified with Jesus Christ on the cross. I died already. And Jesus Christ will lead. If you knew this, if you knew it, you knew this, if you can if you can can feel it, he is inside you, our life is totally different. Transform. That's why Paul like this term. Transform. Transform. New life in Jesus Christ. New life. New world. New living world. We'll talk about it. Those people, Jacob, Joseph, Leah, they knew this. Especially Leah, she had a great perseverance. Oh, what else? I forgot this one. Uh, another thing about Leah and Rachel, actually Rachel is uh, died earlier than uh, Leah. When Rachel died, she buried on the way to the Bethlehem, meaning that nowhere. We don't know where, where she buried. Somewhere way to the Bethlehem. But uh, uh, Leah was there with Jacob. When Jacob died, he talked to the, he instructed his sons, I will be buried with my ancestors, like Moses, like Abraham or Isaac. But at the same time, I was buried with Leah, not rich. We always talk about this great perseverance. That's the toughest one, very hard one for the Christians because we don't like to wait. But um, in the Romans chapter 5, 3, why don't we read this verse and they are wrapping up today? Okay? Stop. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings. Because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character hope. Amen? Amen? Thank you.